Begin by settling in. Pick a position of your body that feels comfortable for you right now. And invite your body to relax. Enjoy this comfort and relaxation for a moment. If you'd like, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. And take a moment to consider something in your life that you feel grateful for. Loving kindness practice can be used to cultivate an attitude of love and friendliness for many people, including the difficult people in our life, whether it's someone that you find annoying or uncomfortable, or even someone who's hurt you. There's a high challenge level to this, and it can be quite difficult. If it feels too hard to cultivate loving kindness for a difficult person, Feel free to change who you're directing this loving kindness towards, or to do something else entirely. But if it feels like an interesting challenge, consider someone in your life that's difficult for you. It doesn't have to be your worst enemy or a truly evil person, just someone who's a little challenging for you. Maybe they're annoying or uncomfortable to be around, or something has happened in your relationship with them recently that's hurt a little bit. Bring someone like that to mind. Consider that even though this person is difficult for one reason or another, that your relationship is strained or you may not even like them very much, that they are also a living being that deserves love and deserves to be happy. And maybe even for yourself that your relationship with them might be easier if they were happier. That's a totally valid way to cultivate love for someone else. Take a moment to reflect on that. And with this attitude of well-wishing, of wishing someone well, even though they're difficult for you, visualize them being happy, perhaps laughing or smiling or enjoying their life. Visualize what that looks like for this difficult person to be happy. See if you can really wish that for them, that they would be happy, that they might smile and laugh and enjoy their life. See if you can cultivate an attitude like that using mental images. If it helps, you can use a phrase like, may they be happy, or may they enjoy their life, or may they smile often. Any phrase that you like, really. 
doesn't matter so much what you say, so long as it helps you cultivate this attitude of love and friendliness. Similarly, it doesn't matter so much whether you use images in your mind or phrases that you can hear. Just finding some way to cultivate this attitude is the most important thing. And as you cultivate this attitude of love towards this difficult person, notice what it feels like for you in your body. Is it difficult, challenging, uncomfortable? If it is, you always have the option of stopping and taking a break or simply changing who you're directing loving kindness towards. You might find it helpful to switch to your easy to love person or animal and even come back once you're in an attitude of love and feeling good in your body. But if it's very difficult, feel free to take a break and do something else. You never have to do loving kindness practice and you never have to direct loving kindness towards anyone in particular even the difficult people in your life. On the other hand, if there's enjoyment, if you find a sense of happiness and love is arising for you, notice that and really enjoy it. This is a very wholesome and beneficial form of love. Genuinely feeling love and affection and well-wishing towards the difficult people in your life. So notice that and really enjoy it. Continue to practice cultivating love for this difficult person for another moment. Take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? Was it particularly challenging? Was there any enjoyment or new insights? Take a moment to reflect on your experience. 